What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning, so come by and say hello. All right, guys. Well, we've seen a little bit of a bump in Rift Watcher sales now that they are priced in DEC. And if you see where DEC is at, you're getting roughly an 18% discount if you use DEC. And I think you can only use DEC. You can't use credits. So you're getting that discount on Rift Watcher packs. And here's the important thing. I'm going to go over to the tools and the rich list. And we're just going to take a look at how much DEC is sitting in the DAO, the SPS.DAO account. And you will see here, right there, this line. Uh, well, actually, it's this number, but 7.6 million, which, if we just do rough math, it's about 1,500 packs uh, of our 1,500 gems sold for Rift Watchers. Now, you know, when you when you think about the fact that 1,500 is not a lot amount, or not not a high amount compared to the almost two million that are still in there, yet it has eaten up 7 million. Now you could almost consider that 7 million DEC burned. And yes, I'm using quotes here, but it's it's not actually burned. It's still in it's still in the circulating supply, but it's no longer in circulation, meaning that it's locked up by the DAO until the DAO decides to do something with it. So when we look at this DEC supply here, this 4.7 uh, 4.7 billion is actually going to be less than 4.7 billion now. It's 4.707, 4 but we know that there's uh, a little over 7 million or 7, yeah, 7 million in there. So I guess maybe it's it's going to be down. <laughs> it's going to be down a little bit more uh, than that. But my point being is that we're going to be looking at this number and we're going to now have to factor in how much DEC is sitting in the Dow because that is not technically liquid. It is locked up by the Dow. And therefore, until and unless SPS stakers make a proposal and decide to do something with it, it's just going to stay outside of the circulating supply ecosystem. So in a sense, 1,500 packs in less than 48 hours, not a lot of packs, not a lot of movement, yet it's a good amount of DEC. So I'm really excited to see where this goes. Obviously, um, you know, people will, will take advantage of this as the discount continues onwards, but right now... I think we're off to a great start. So we'll check in, I don't know, maybe after a week, maybe after a couple of weeks here, but it's exciting times when you think about the tokenomics for Splinterlands right now. And I know what's tough is that we haven't really been able to say that. <laughs> we haven't been able to say that much over the last couple of months. And while land is still a big question mark because we don't know when it's coming out, we do know that it is coming out, hopefully within sometime within Q3. And uh, Q3 would end at the end of September. So, uh, you know, for something that was supposed to be out in June, a lot of people are still salty about it. I'm hopeful that we get it, you know, at least no more than three months late. But with the changes that we've seen, right? And a lot of these have come from, from proposals. Uh, so the Rift Watchers for DEC, which passed, we have the market burn fee. So now obviously increased to 6%. Uh, and uh, it's burning 2% of that, burning the DEC for 2% of that. And uh, in in an almost indirect way, uh, what we've seen with the SPS rental market, because SPS has been given more utility and the SPS rental market has been put live through the the system, uh, through the the well, there was there's something also on Xbox, but through the company's system, right through the team's website, that also burns two percent. So I don't know what the volume is for that marketplace. In fact, maybe we can go and check. I'd be curious to see. But all three of these things, uh, nope, it doesn't show the it doesn't show the volume. But all three of these are going to give us, uh, you know, just slightly. And Matt Matt made a great point on a recent town hall where, or on the most recent town hall, I should say, where he said that none of these things is going to be silver bullet. None of them by themselves is going to change the ecosystem overnight. But all of them put together are slowly adding value. And I do believe that with these two, you know, with, with all these, which, you know, three of them came live just this past Thursday. And then we know that there's upcoming releases, including Tower Defense, which, again, is a big unknown. Land is a big unknown in terms of the time frame, although we do at least, you know, most most optimistic folks believe it's going to have a very positive impact for the, the ecosystem. But we do know that those things are coming. And if we're already off to a great start, sure, we're not going to see crazy rises in prices, although SPS is doing well right now. But in terms of getting DEC back to peg, wiping out the circulating supply, we're slowly going to eat that up over the next two, three months or however long it takes to get land out, however long it takes to get uh, tower defense out and whenever like the modern bot proposal. Again, that's not necessarily a tokenomics thing, but if that is successful, it could be one of the biggest marketing tools to get more players in because a lot of people who discovered the game maybe within you know, some point within the last two years, 
liked the game but then didn't like the, the, the company's stance on bots may decide to come back. And I don't know what that number of players is, right, or the number of players are. If they see that the company has turned things around, we're starting to see green candles on, on uh, daily and weekly charts, and that there is a focused effort to create a safe space for humans, right? Again, at the end of the day, the rest of the game is still decentralized, but there is a safe space for humans to play, and that space could potentially be very lucrative if there's not a lot of people, yet the still yet uh, you know the same reward pool. All of that could add so much value. So I'm getting way off topic here. I really just wanted to talk about Rift Watchers. There's still almost 2 million packs available. We have, we've only sold 1,500. So just imagine how things will go, especially if DEC gets a little bit lower too. I think right now we're seeing a sell-off in DEC for people who need SPS for the SPS staking requirement. But once, you know, once people find that kind of equilibrium, DEC is going to be the next thing that, in my opinion, will pop. Again, not financial advice, but there will be DEC demand drivers in the future. And every time we've seen those, LAN 1.0, even, the, uh, even the, the sale at the end of last year, whenever there's these massive DEC events, we've seen DEC perform quite well, even just the Great Burning a couple of weeks ago. So who knows what comes next? Or sorry, it's not who knows. Who knows when what comes next will arrive. <laughs> but uh, either way, I'm excited. I think the tokenomics are in a much better place. And even if we don't see positive price action or positive momentum over the next couple of weeks or months, I do believe it's it's one of those things where the chart goes vertical, right? It's like it goes it goes slightly, slightly, and then boom, just up and straight uh, up and to the right. So we're probably in a position now where we're going to be doing all the things where we clean out all of the excess, and then at some point when that demand driver comes in, we'll see a positive move up again. Will it go to the moon? That's not what I'm saying. I have no idea where this stuff is going to happen. Bitcoin could crash. We could enter World War III. Who knows what's going to happen in the next couple of months. But I'm just really happy to see the tokenomics for the game in a much healthier place. It's not the best place yet, but we are in a much healthier place with SPS uh, direct utility and DEC demand drivers coming into play. That is all I have for you guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I will catch you all in the next video and see you around the game. Take care.